everybody, Excalibur here with another unboxing. This is another Kickstarter, but this is one that I was not really expecting. A while ago, there was this uh, um, campaign that was going on, and I canceled it because the shipping was taking way too long, and a whole bunch of other reasons, but I sent the uh, creator a message, asked if I could cancel it. He said, sure, and he canceled it. I got a refund and everything, and then... Um, just recently I got, ow, that was glue. Just recently I got a package in the mail. I didn't know what was going on and it turns out it was from this Kickstarter. My survey hadn't been canceled and the creator, Chris Nichols, an awesome dude, sent me the stuff anyway. It's partly because I backed the first Kickstarter that he tried that failed because it didn't get enough people in the amount of time, but the second one did. This is the card caddy. Now, I backed the double decker, and I backed four multiple colors. So we've got red, we've got blue, we've got black, we have green, and we have white. Now the thing is, there was also an extra white put in there. Yay, I don't know why. And then this silver thing. I don't know what that silver thing was for. Uh, but these, and I'll just grab one of them because they're all exactly the same. They have some really interesting stuff associated with them. So let me get these guys out of the way so I don't knock them down and wake everybody in the house. Because it is kind of late here. And I do a lot of my content creation at night. Now, they have some really interesting things. Uh, first off, they are supposed to be able to hold a 100 card sleeve deck. Uh, I believe that's what it is. And I've got 75 premium sleeves here. We'll see if that actually works. And I want to double check to make sure that I'm correct. That it was indeed 100. Okay, so... Um, the base funding goal, produce a double-decker card caddy, be able to handle two regular 54 playing card decks, or 100 single-sleeve cards, or 75 double-sleeve cards. Now, these are premium sleeves. They're thicker than standard sleeves by about one and a half times almost. So, it could be that these sleeves are going to be too thick for this. We'll find out. There are about 77 cards here. Anyway, every card caddy has a couple of features. Number one, and I never really figured out how to open this up. Let me just double, ah, right here. So we grab and we just pull like this, and they slide apart. Now it's really tight. I don't know why it's so tight. And in this one, we have some extra stuff. I'll take a look at that in a second. And they slide together like this it should actually fit and allow you to connect the two I want to make sure that I have I got to go from the bottom at the top because I pay attention to directions so you have a place to store your cards your deck that you can draw from and your discard pile which can go in sideways so I'm going to use Rift Walker as an example so we'll take some of these cards and say this is the deck you're drawing from they will fit right here nice and secure and they won't spill or anything when you have slick sleeves that really helps and then when you discard you can put them sideways like this and they fit in here nice and neat and it protects them very well so that's really awesome the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with all the cards that i have for rift walker like i said 77 and it looks like it can hold 77 sleeves that are premium but there is quite a bit of room left uh, I don't think 30 cards will fit there so this might not hold premium sleeved cards as well because I thought these looked kind of small but it holds a lot of cards uh, if I had a Magic the Gathering uh, commander set I could see exactly if this holds 100 or not but for right now I can't but these slide in and out. You can also put them on the other side. And again, I started from the 
bottom and went to the top. But there you go, it slides in, and it just sits there like that. They fit together really nicely, very simply, and they protect your cards. It's a really awesome little box. And if I played more Magic, this would be something that I would be playing with a lot more often. When I first tried opening this, I could not figure out how to do it, and it would not open for the life of me. And chances are what I was doing was trying to pull on this side and pull on this side. Nothing happens. But when you pull on the proper sides, they open up just fine. So these come with a couple of features. Number one, after we get them all closed up, they have a spot for a coin, or in this case, poker chips. So one of my main concerns about this was I saw it like this online with this hole in here. And that doesn't say I'm going to protect your cards. But the cool thing is you can fit in these poker chips and now your cards are completely protected because nothing can get fit in there. They also have this ridge right here and there are a bunch of accessories that can be snapped into place like a scoring box or a dice tray. You can actually also use these with an optional dice tray attachment that slides in right here and the dice come out here. It is really really cool. There's a link to the Kickstarter page in the description and I do not know if Chris is taking pre-orders or other orders for the game. Let me just take a look quick. Oh, it says get them now. So if you click that, it'll take you to his website, which I will provide a link to at the bottom. So there are several different colors. And like I said, there was a container for holding dice, for holding poker chips, for holding a, a score thing on there. I didn't go that detailed into it and there was a, a dice tray attachment but they could get out and out and out and out so there's a lot of them there and I think this might actually be um, a single decker it's not a double decker I am not sure because it doesn't say whether it's double decker or anything on there um, there was supposed to be a triple decker that could hold a lot more cards and there's a single decker which um, I think is maybe half this. So I think this is definitely the double decker um, because it matches the order that I made. So one of the cool things about these is say you have a red white Boros deck for Magic the Gathering. You could easily, and there go my cards, which they're sliding and falling all over the place. It's one of the things that these help. One of the cool things is these are interchangeable. So here is a Boros deck. So now you have a red-white deck. Now, what happens if you've got, I'm, I can't remember the name, but say you've got a red, white, and black deck. And let me pull these off of here. You actually can swap out the uh, poker chips. And now you've got your red, your white, and your black. And you can put in like green and blue and stuff like that. So you have multiple color decks very, very easily, no problems. Uh, of course, as you can see, it can only handle up to four. If you got the attachments, you could get the different colors and make, um, I don't know, you could have like the dice box be red and then you've got black and green and blue and all that stuff on there. Uh, one of the other things is, without the pokers, poker chips, if you don't know how to open it by pulling like this, you can always pull it by sticking your fingers in the holes if you have room for your fingers. And you just pull them apart like so. It's a really nice system. They're, I think they were 3D printed. I don't see the, the 3D print lines on there. So it's either done very well or uh, maybe just the prototypes are 3D printed. But it comes in several different colors. As I showed you, I've got white, red, blue, black, and green. I grabbed the Magic the Gathering colors because I was looking for a way to um, house my Magic the Gathering Commander decks. So in this case, I got two white because for some reason I got a second white. But I know that I pledged for the blue, the red, the white, the black, and the green. So there's all that. The, one of the things that I uh, noticed, I tried to stack them, but they don't stack because all of these slots have to be at the same side. Um, and 
they also have to match up different ways. So it looks like they've got these little feet. So you can store your cards on their sides, like so, instead of flat. These are big enough. Let's see here. Here's my Riftwalker box. It's very thin, but this is just a little bit too thick. And you can't fit two in there unless you put them in sideways like that. So smaller games like this where you want to replace, say, uh, the crap insert, which is right here. As you can see, the people who created the insert did not really care. So it, it goes like this in the box, and it, it doesn't fit sleeved cards in here at all. I have to interleave the cards before I put them in, and then um, I have to squish it down and put it between bigger boxes just to keep the thing closed. And I really don't like that. Now, with I was hoping with boxes like this, we could actually... Uh, put all the cards inside these and then put them into to other boxes but this is just too thick and of course the box is just too small to fit two of these which is an issue with this because if you could put cards side by side in here that would be wonderful but the people made the box way too small and I don't know why they did that and I don't know why I closed it up without having everything in there uh, because small form factor boxes really aren't worth it, in my opinion. These guys, however, are great. You, you want something for holding prototype cards? These will work. You take it to an event. Come on, open, there we go. And you can easily slide this thing together and have a dedicated draw and discard area very very simple and the cool thing is say you have multiple decks let me go ahead and get this pulled apart the green i haven't pulled the green apart you have multiple decks so you can actually daisy chain the white onto the green so say you're doing terraforming mars uh, or some other game and they have multiple decks because of expansions you now have multiple draw decks and one discard pile but that's how it how it is you could have a draw discard draw discard makes it really easy to actually put everything together and for some of my bigger games like the dc deck building game this might be a way to protect your cards in the box without having to go to the expense of getting something like this which is the, the broken token uh divider or insert for the catalyst-based games. Of course, I'm a doofus, and I don't have this taped up or anything. And these are actually not as tight-fitting as most of the, uh, Broken Token's other things. I won't go into any details on this. I just want to make sure that I get it put together so that I can put it away and not have it fall all over the place. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm cutting this part out. There we go. Anyway, something like this in your catalyst deck building box so that could help you can of course split them up into different colors and it's a lot easier when you don't have them all in one thing you can put them all together in certain ways it comes with the the poker chips so with these poker chips you can do a lot of other stuff now these that came in this let's take a look at this here we have stickers. It looks like little stickers that have the Card Caddy logo on them. And then we've got some bigger Stack Your Deck Anywhere, Anytime, which are larger versions of that. Let's, let's go ahead and we'll... Pop this back together. <laughs> and there we go. All right, so let's pull this out. I think this should fit in here. Oh, yeah, this is really loose in there. So this is not meant for here. I don't know what these are for. They're nice tokens. But these stickers, I think... Yeah, you can put these stickers right on here if you really want to. I don't have enough to fit on all six of my boxes, so I guess they're 
little bit of uh, accoutrement, as they would say. Little accessory thing. So, well, there you have it. There's not much else to say about these. They're really tough. They're really strong. They go together and they stay together nicely. And when you drop them, let's get this. It's falling over. When you drop them, they don't fall apart. And in actuality, it just bounced. Um, it takes a little bit of effort to open the box, which keeps it together nicely. So uh, it's definitely better than a tuck box. It's better than one of the Ultra Pro silk tech boxes. I mean, those are really nice, but the lids on those come off pretty easily if you drop them and you can crack them. I haven't dropped these on anything like cement or anything like that but it looks like it could take a licking and keep on ticking and you've always got these tokens you could probably put these stickers are they stickers let me just double check because it could be something else entirely and i'm just reading them oh yeah they're stickers so we'll just take this sticker and we will put it right here on this white dude white chip okay it's a little bit bigger then a little spot in the middle, and now it's stuck. So you could use these as a heads tails kind of thing if you wanted to. There we go. So now I put a sticker on there. Now I've got a head and I've got a tail. So I could use it to uh, do Pokemon or something like that. So there you go, heads and tails, and I'll drop it on the floor. There we go. Anyway, so. These stickers are really good for heads and tails, for choosing first player or whatever. That that helps. Uh, you can use them for tokens. You can use them for poker chips. But there's a limited number. If you only get one box, you get two. So I'm not sure what they'd be used for other than this. Hmm. So I hope you enjoyed this card caddy uh, unboxing and uh, a look at what these things are are and how surprised i was when i received them thank you very much chris it was very nice to find these in the mail even though i had asked you to cancel them and it was really upstanding of you to send them to me anyway and then when i told you about them you said keep them thank you very much for supporting so here we are me with a bunch of deck boxes which i'm going to use in some of my games probably use them to pimp something here or there so until next time, please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps. And as always, this is Excalibur, and I am out. <laughs>